This is the Meerkat in for D7 with a broad market review for September the 24th, 2015. Well, on this first full day of fall, how did the markets do? Were they bullish or bearish out there? Uh, let's take a look at the numbers. SPY down 0.35. The Dow was down 0.47. The Qs were down 0.29. While the small caps were only down 0.19. So who was leading the way down today? It was the Dow, primarily due to some news on Caterpillar. And then we have uh, the uh, small caps that were leading the way. But look at the next one. Bank. Bank was up 0 0.59. Wow. So it's the opposite of what the markets were doing. Remember, we cannot continue to fall without the finances going with us. Can't go up without them either. So in this case, this is a little less bearish than it looks. Also, we came way off of our lows uh, during interday today. Uh, so we got the VXX. Uh, it was up 2.8%. Yep, the fear is not out of the market, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the big surprise. Silver and gold up 2% today. And we'll take a look at that chart in a few moments. And oil bounced up 1% today after dropping over 3% yesterday. Dollar down just slightly. And the trend trade is not on for grads. We're at 0 0.86. Let's take a look here here at the S&P 500 a daily chart here and uh, here we are we um, you know drop 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 we were in this rising wedge or a bear pennant and what happened bam we fell out of it but we haven't it's not been a free fall it's just been kind of floating down here really good volume but not a dramatic move down and today we went all the way down here right to about the 190 line and then it pulled all the way back up here so not quite as bearish today as it could have been now, a couple of key uh, areas to look at here is what could happen, you think, in the SPY. Uh, well, I'm looking at uh, one, uh, because of uh, this big, huge pull up here and the bank being up today, I suspect we might go up for a couple of days here. And where would we go up to? Well, two possible lines of resistance here would be this trend line right here at 196 or at 196 on the SPY and that's because of these resistances here prior and here so uh, those are two possible lines of resistance how about coming downward here if we start to fall again uh, we can look down here with this this low that closed down here that's a possible test area and possible support there so two critical lines to think about so how about on the DIA it too is in this bull flag it's been dropping uh, again today it dropped a little more than the others uh, a little bit more bullish had been the tech stocks and the Qs here when it was riding up here and it's just, and just kind of floating down and the uh, here are the uh, small cap Russell here and it, and it was rising up and it's been coming down a little bit harder than the other markets but today it actually was lagging. Uh, let's take a look at that gold chart here that uh, Des was talking about this symmetrical triangle and his closing comments yesterday were what? Well we can't play it till it breaks out. Well guess what? Kaboom! There it was. It broke out today up above 110 up above the 100 moving average and it closed above the 100 moving average on the daily chart. Ooh, uh, how about silver? Very very similar here except it did not break out. It came up right to that resistance line and close right at that resistance line. Isn't that interesting? So uh, gold definitely broke out today. Silver is definitely ready to break out again here. Uh, so we keep our eyes on that. Well, I just want to acknowledge that uh, Mark Douglas, the, uh, the great author and educator uh, of Trading in the Zone was one of his books as well as a disciplined trader. He did pass away recently. And in our mentoring, we do train people in the trading truths adapted from his work. So uh, today I'd like to review trading truth number eight. Your battle isn't against the market. It's against yourself and your ability to develop a concise and disciplined trading plan that works for you. Trade well.